What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying your lives to the fullest today. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the 2023 GMC Canyon Denali. Huge thank you to Coons Tyson Chevy Buick GMC for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular Canyon Denali or any GM product with the exception of Cadillac, I'll be sure to have Coons Tyson Chevy Buick GMC's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. All right, let's just get right into the video. So like I said, this is a 2023 GMC Canyon Denali and this particular one has been painted in the $495 Onyx Black. For 2023, the Canyon did get redesigned both on the interior as well as the exterior. And the only configuration you can get is the crew cab short box configuration. And by the way, four x four is standard on every single trim level except for the elevation. So you cannot get the Denali, the AT4, or the AT4X in two wheel drive. They are four wheel drive only. But let's start over here at our headlights. So with the Denali, you guys do get LED projector headlights with IntelliBeam as well as LED daytime running lights, LED turn signals, and LED fog lights towards the bottom of your front bumper. One thing that I really, really like about the new Canyon, I guess maybe the Canyon Denali, the AT4 and the AT4 X in particular, I guess the elevation is the exact same, but they kind of have like a wide body look to them. If you guys see one of these things in person, I know the camera isn't quite doing it justice, but they just have a wide body look and they look really, really sweet, both here with the Canyon and then also with the Chevy's Colorado. So uh, take a moment and go take a look at one of these in person. I think you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about but with the Denali you guys do get a chrome front grille with gloss black accents and a gloss black grille surround so like the face of the grille is chrome but then in here you get black black accenting and then all of this like right here and then on the bottom of the grill and then on the top of the grill uh, is your gloss black grill surround and then at the center of your front grill is where you'll find your GMC lettering and then just beneath your M is where you will find your forward facing camera that forward facing camera works with your 360 degree view camera system that comes standard with the Denali taking a step back just a tad and looking towards our front bumper you get a body color front bumper uh, with the Denali as well as a gray valence towards the bottom of your front bumper so this piece right here uh, that contains your fog lights is also body color and then towards the bottom again you get that gray valence as well as two black frame mounted recovery hooks one being right there it's a little closer look at it and then obviously you have one on the driver's side as well now the Denali does get a two inch factory lift for 9.6 inches of ground clearance you can see the welcome lighting as i get closer to the vehicle the daytime running lights turn on now one thing that's also pretty cool about the uh, denali is that you also get these bumper cutouts on either side of your front bumper for a little bit better of an approach angle so you may see like you know you're approaching a rock and the rocks about like right here you can see how you have that little cutout to give you just again a little bit more clearance so this is like where your bumper would normally be so you have quite a bit uh, of more clearance i would say that's probably you know maybe six or eight inches more uh, clearance there for a better approach angle again you guys also get these satin black wheel arch moldings with integrated side marker lights which again are located about right there and then taking a step down with the $3,495 Denali Black Edition, you guys get these 20 inch gloss black wheels. And these wheels are wrapped in 27560 Bridgestone Dueler all terrain tires. And if you guys do not like these wheels, um, there are a couple different wheel options that you can get. Um, but this one, again, these come with the Denali Black Edition. You cannot get these wheels without optioning for the Denali Black Edition. Speaking of the Denali trim level, the Denali comes with these chrome mirror caps. These side view mirrors are manual folding. They are heated. You get your blind spot monitoring on the upper left-hand side of your driver's side mirror and then over there on the upper right-hand side of your passenger side mirror. And then at the bottom of your side view mirrors is where you'll find your side view cameras those side view cameras work again with your 360 degree view camera system that comes standard on the denali now working our way back just a tad here's a little side profile of the canyon again i just love the way that this thing looks especially here in the black with the denali black edition it just looks so so sick uh, and it's all blacked out and if you guys want to bring the blacked outness 
to another level. You can black out the uh, side view mirrors and the door handles. You would have to do that aftermarket with a wrap or something like that, but that would just make it look so, so sick. But as standard, you guys get black window trim as well as chrome door handles with keyless access. Just keep in mind that your keyless access function is only on your front two doors. You get your chrome Denali lettering also on your front two doors only as well. And then towards the bottom of your passenger doors, again, with that Denali uh, black edition, you guys also get these black assist steps, which make it a little bit easier to step in and out of the vehicle. Let's say if you are, you know, maybe on the older side of things, uh, that just helps you, you know, step in and out. Because again, this has a two inch factory lift. Popping this open is where you'll find your capless filler neck. There are no fuel recommendations or requirements for this vehicle. So 87 octane will do you just fine. Up top here, you get those two white lights. Those are your um, halogen cab lights, and then that's your third brake light. As standard with the Denali, you get a manual sliding rear window, and then you get a rear window defroster as well. I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by like that wide body look. I'm not sure how well the GoPro is gonna pick it up, but from about right here, you can see it's got wide hips both in the front and the back. Again, I just love that design language. Again, satin black wheel arch moldings. You get another side marker light here. This is what your rear suspension setup looks like with your leaf springs and your shocks. You can also see your spare tire poke in there a little bit, but working our way to the back end, you guys do get LED taillights as well as chrome badging on your tailgate with your GMC badging, your Denali badging, and your Canyon badging being on the lower right-hand side of your tailgate. Working our way to the top of the tailgate, you have your backup camera right there. I believe this is a locking tailgate, so when you lock the vehicle, the tailgate also locks. You can hear it lock, you can unlock it as well, and then the tailgate will drop. It is a easy open tailgate, so it opens nice and slow. And then you can see like a little topographical map. They might That might be uh, the Denali National Mountain or the Denali uh, Mountain. Uh, you guys are gonna roast me for saying National Mountain, but Denali National Park. Um, working our way in, you also have like this little measuring device here all the way up to four feet. And then taking a look at the interior of the bed, you get spray in bed liner as standard Denali stamped into the front of the tailgate. I believe you get eight tie down hooks, two in each corner. And then you also get a 120 volt household outlet on the right hand side of your bed. And that's you know kind of about it for what we got going on back here. Actually, I think this might open up as well. I just got to unlock that, unlock that. And then this piece right here will go up as well for a little bit of storage space down in there. You potentially could fit some jumper cables or, you know, something of that size. But just keep in mind that that's probably about, you know, maybe five, four or five inches deep. Um, so you just got to be weary uh, of, you know, how big of the item that you are going to be setting in there. So all you got to do is unlock those pieces and then that thing will pop open. Very easy to close the tailgate because after all, it is very light. But working our way down just a tad bit more you get a body color corner step bumper with four sensors integrated into the bumper so again you get a corner step there you get a corner step over here just to make it a little bit easier to step in and out of the bed again with that corner step and then obviously four sensors that's one that's two that's three and that's four you get a four pin connector up top here and a seven pin connector on the bottom this is what your trailer hitch looks like so the max tow capacity is 7,700 pounds with every Canyon model, except I believe the AT4X. And then this is what your spare tire looks like. And then also last but not least with the Denali black edition, you get this black exhaust tip that exits on the passenger side of the back. And here's a little rear three quarter angle of the 2023 Canyon Denali. Let me know what you guys think of the Canyon Denali in the comments down below. Do you guys like the way that this thing looks? I really personally do because it's got the wide body look to it. I really like the sleek daytime running light slash um, turn signal design up here at the front. I think this front end is just, it's got a very aggressive front end design and I think it is one of the better looking mid-sized trucks in the market. Uh, just again, my personal opinion, you guys can agree or disagree with me in the comments down below. But with that out of the way, let's move into performance. 
Popping open that hood reveals that 2.7 liter turbo high output four cylinder that makes 310 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque. It is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in six seconds flat. If you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 17 miles per gallon in the city, 21 miles per gallon on the highway for 19 miles per gallon combined with standard four wheel drive. Those fuel economy numbers are pretty decent, but considering those power numbers, for a mid-sized truck, I think those are very, very good. Those are like right on par, honestly, with like full-size trucks. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I am now on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot get there without your guys' help. So if you guys have taken anything from this video so far today, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But let's move into the interior i just finished doing the performance part of this video and that lady over there gave me props she was like good job but when i finished that scene so that was pretty cool uh, everybody today has kind of came up to me and just talked to me and they've all been really really cool so with that out of the way let's move on into the interior so like i mentioned earlier on in the video you do get keyless access so all you got to do is have your key fob in your pocket walk up to the vehicle press on this button right here and the vehicle will unlock you can also press that button and that will also lock the vehicle but i did want to show you guys a couple of the functions on the key fob so obviously you have your unlock function your lock function your panic function and you also get a remote start function with the denali so all you got to do is lock the vehicle and then press this button twice and the vehicle will fire up and that is what it sounds like when it fires up like i said you get keyless access all you got to do is have your key fob in your pocket press on this button right here and the vehicle will unlock to reveal a very very premium feeling and looking interior here with the Denali. I mean, what do you expect? After all, it does have the Denali nameplate, so it better be nice. Now, the interior color code is called Jet Black slash Teak. You guys can see it's just a beautiful interior, but we'll get into that part of the interior here in a second. I wanna focus on the door panel here. So from about like here, all the way over to here, all of this area uh, is all leather wrapped. And you guys can see you get some of that teak accent colored stitching, kind of like a quilted leather vibe. You get some wood grain trim, some aluminum trim above that, aluminum door handle, unlock and your lock functions, two memory seat adjustment settings. Here are your power side view mirror controls. You get an automatic up and down front driver window and all the other windows are automatic down only. You had a great spot you could set a phone there and then you got a spot you could set a smart water bottle at the bottom of your door panel now taking a look at the driver and the front passenger seat these are eight-way power front seats which is also very very nice and you get two-way power lumbar those are what your seat controls look like and uh when i was speaking to this guy earlier on uh before i was doing uh this part of the part of the video he was saying you know one of those things that he would like to see incorporated into videos is uh, he's an older gentleman. So he was like, how easy is it for older people to get in and out of the vehicle? So again, with these assist steps and grabbing onto the steering wheel, it actually is relatively easy to step in and out of the canyon. Uh, remember guys, this has a two inch factory lift with it. Um, so it is a little bit challenging maybe to get in and out for some people. But for me, again, I'm a 22 year old, so it's very easy for me to just jump in and out of this thing. But let's start over here, then we'll work our way into the passenger and then into those rear seats. So starting over here, you may notice there are no headlight controls. I'll get to that here in a second. But down here, this is to brighten and or dim your gauge cluster as well as your backlit buttons. And then you have an integrated trailer brake controller beneath that. You also, what's interesting to me is that for the price of this vehicle, I personally think that this th uh, should have a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel, but it has a manual tilting steering wheel and telescoping so it moves up it moves down and it also goes in and out i did a video with a 2023 uh colorado trail boss like uh last week or the week before and that was tilting only so this has tilting and telescoping it is just manual so let's look at our turn signal stock this is also your windshield wiper control stock so this is what it looks like let's take a listen to the turn signal that is what the turn signal sounds like. And again, that is what your windshield wiper control stock looks like. You do get a leather wrapped and heated steering wheel with some accent colored stitching on the inside of the steering wheel itself. Let's take a listen to the horn. That is what the horn sounds like on the Canyon. Uh, but again, on this side of the steering wheel, you have your adaptive cruise control settings. Adaptive cruise control does come standard with the Denali. 
And then over here, that is to turn your heated steering wheel on or off. This is to pick up on a phone call and or hang up on a phone call. So you push up to pick up, push down to hang up. And then these buttons here are to control your 11 inch digital gauge cluster, which is awesome. This is also to control your gauge cluster. Um, and then again, that will bring you into your different audio stuff, but I'm gonna have to go into here stay in demo mode and now I will have full access into that screen. So now let's just go throughout the screen. So right now that is the compass. That is some analytical fuel data. That is your fuel range. Right now we are low on fuel. Two wheel drive that lets us know uh, what drive mode or that lets us know if we're in two wheel drive, four wheel drive, etc. Transmission status down here. That's your odometer. That's the ambient exterior temperature. That lets us know what audio stuff is playing. Obviously letting us know that the fuel level is low. I'm just gonna click on that and then that goes away. And then you get your RPM gauge, digital speedometer readout. That's your fuel gauge over there. That's your coolant temperature gauge there. Now to go throughout this screen, we can click on this button here and that will bring you into a couple of your different screens. Um, so give it a second. Uh, you have a few of these different screens, like I just mentioned to you guys. So this is one of the screens, the one we were just on. I'm gonna click this button here. That will bring us into this screen. It's basically speedometer over there, RPM gauge over there, transmission status, and then the analytical data moved to the center. This is probably the screen that I would leave this vehicle on. Again, that's just personal preference. Uh, but then this will also bring your navigation screen throughout the entire screen, your digital speedometer readout over there. Um, and then this is another one of your screens. Basically you have your pitch and roll stuff over there. And then that is basically your compass. And then you get some more of this analytical data at the center of the screen. Um, and then this is another screen. Basically this is like a calm screen. It's just your digital speedometer readout. Um, but yeah, again, this right here is the screen that I would personally leave it on. Uh, you can go between your different radio favorites and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. That's kind of about it for that screen. I could spend more time on that screen, but I'm not going to because I would make that video or this video relatively long. But then just above that is where you will find your 6.3 inch head up display system that comes standard with the Denali. Um, so this screen or this uh, head up display system works very, very nicely. And I'm not 100% sure how you would control the head up display. I believe you might have to do that through um, the screen here but uh, we'll get into that in a second. That is to turn the vehicle on or off. And then you have your tuning controls on the left-hand side of the steering wheel behind them. And then over on this side of the steering wheel behind this, this is to volume up and then that is to volume down. So your volume controls are behind the right-hand side of the steering wheel. Working our way over to here, this is the new uh, for 2023 11.3 inch infotainment system. It is a Google-based infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto connectivity. So all of this stuff in here is all new for the 2023 model year for the Canyon. And it is leaps and bounds and leaps and bounds and leaps and bounds better than the 2023 or 2022, excuse me, and below. I mean, it's just way, way better. You got your shortcut buttons down here. You got your volume knob. That is basically vehicle stuff, phone stuff, Google map stuff, audio stuff, and your home button. Um, clicking on this will bring you into your vehicle stuff. So you may notice you got no headlight controls over here, but you do have an instant headlight button right here. So basically if you click on that, that will bring you into headlights off, automatic daytime running lights on or headlights in the always on position. But if you want some more controls for your fog lights and stuff, you would have to go into vehicle right here. Then you go into lights right here and then you can access this screen. So you get your headlight stuff over there, fog light stuff, car light stuff, and then you can turn your automatic high beams on or off there. Um, and then this is like all your different vehicle controls here. So you can turn uh, the head-up display brightness up, you can adjust the height of the head-up display, and then you can also adjust the rotation of the head-up display throughout this screen here. Again, that's the vehicle button. And you have all these different things. You can turn the fog lights on instantly by pushing on that button. You can bring up your 360 degree view camera system by pushing on that button. That is my forward-facing camera with guidance lines. As soon as I throw this thing into reverse, that will pop up my backup camera with guidance lines. So uh, that is pretty cool. Uh, again, that is what that looks like. And that's, you know, kind of about it for the camera system. Uh, very, very nice, very easy to use system. In my Trail Boss video, I kind of made a little blunder, I guess you could say, because I was like, oh, you got to go into here and then you got to go into here to turn your headlights on. But really, in all actuality, all you got to do is click right there and then that will turn them on or off. But anyway, you got your shortcut buttons. This is what the home screen looks like. 
swipe over to this way. This is a Wi-Fi hotspot capable vehicle and I was using the Wi-Fi hotspot uh, and it works very, very well. Um, I don't want to show you guys that kind of stuff, but it is an awesome, awesome Wi-Fi system. Uh, you can go into your vehicle controls here as well. And then you got your off-road stuff you can go into basically Baja terrain overlanding. That is what those different screens look like right now. We are in the normal drive mode up top here that's the temperature that's the time coming down a little bit this has a dual zone climate control system so uh, if you twist that it displays your temperature controls there and over there for the passenger and then um, this is what the climate control system looks like those are the top buttons and those are the bottom buttons you get heated and ventilated front seats as standard with the Donali both with three levels of adjustability which is awesome you get two HVAC vents but you get four on the entire dash that's one that's two three and four over there I love the leather wrapping on the dash with the quilting on that side one thing that's pretty cool that seems uh, GM seems to be in incorporating uh, on their new vehicles is that you can see it says Denali and then it gives the coordinates of Denali National Park. The Denali Ultimate I did a video with the other day had the exact same stuff, which was awesome. Pressing on this button will roll all the interior windows down, but you do have to roll all the interior windows up uh, by yourself. So that is automatic. That will only bring them down. It's not going to bring them back up. So just keep that in mind. That's your auto stop start stuff. This is your hazards thing. Uh, this is your lane keeping system. And then this is an auxiliary so, uh, button. So you could set up like a light bar hypothetically to that. And you can turn the light bar on or off by the push of that button. You get a USB-C port and a USB-A port as well as a wireless charging pad as standard with the Canyon Denali. I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is one of the bigger phones on the market. And it fits down in there, no problem. This is what your gear shift selector looks like. This is your electronic parking brake. Pull up to engage the parking brake and then push your foot down on the brake and then push down on that and then that will disengage the parking brake and then over here that's four wheel drive automatic that is to go into two wheel drive all, all i'm doing is pressing on that that's four wheel drive high and then all the way at the bottom is four wheel drive low so you guys do get a two speed transfer case with the canyon denali and then if you guys switch this over to the left and to the right like that you can go in between your different drive modes so starting from normal mode i'm just twisting to the right you have off-road mode you have your tow haul mode you have your terrain mode and then you have your nor normal mode so you have one two three four different drive modes and again all i'm doing is twisting this to the right and that switches me in between my different drive modes you get two cup holders right here you get a nicely padded and leather wrapped armrest with some accent colored stitching you got some crap down in here you get a little storage divider and then opening that up you get another uh or you get a 12 volt power outlet down in there about right there um and i would say probably 50 percent of my four fit down in there um, so honestly for this size of a vehicle quite a bit of storage space down in there you do not get a locking glove box and you get a decent amount of storage space in your glove box you can fit your owner's manual some uh, snacks some napkins and stuff like that but just keep in mind uh, your glove box really isn't all that big this is your auto dimming rear view mirror you got your on star stuff you got your passenger airbag stuff there if it's on or off driver gets a light passenger gets a light and then you have your different light settings right here so you want the lights to turn on when you open up the door it's at the center if you want your instant dome lights that's the button you would press and then if you don't want the lights on and you don't want the lights on when you open up the door you click that all the way to the left and then that is how that works and then taking a look up top here this does have the $1,000 power sunroof and to control the sunroof here these are the different buttons that you would press so this is to slide the sunroof this is to tilt the sunroof and then these two buttons here are both to close the sunroof your visor you get a little clip right here opening the visor up you get a vanity mirror with two vanity lights and then this thing also slides forwards and backwards which is very nice and then the passenger's side does the exact same thing come over and over here that is your bluetooth mic pickup for your bluetooth phone the passenger gets the same exact thing the passenger gets an opu handle whereas the driver does not get an opu handle um but really the passenger side looks pretty much the exact same as what you would find on the driver side i love how they have the denali um stitched into the seat back i think that adds to just the premiumness of the denali trim level i did want to go over a couple things that come standard with the denali and those things include the wireless charging pad the head-up display system 360 degree view camera system adaptive cruise control heated front seats and heated steering wheel as well as ventilated front seats and the power front seats also i didn't mention this 
this because you know I can't really see them uh, but with the Denali black edition you guys do get all weather floor mats now I am gonna throw the entire window sticker on screen for you guys to take a look at all the standard stuff all the safety stuff all the optional stuff that this vehicle has but basically I'm just gonna highlight the MSRP so the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 Canyon Denali is spec is $58,300 and that is a lot of money but this is also just a really nice truck however with that price in mind there 100% needs to be a power sliding rear window at that price point a manual sliding rear window which is what this has is unacceptable in my personal opinion so GM you got to get your stuff together if you're going to be charging that much money for this vehicle power sliding rear window is an absolute must but I want to show you guys what we got going on in these rear seats before we moved into the driving portion of the review so popping open this back door you guys can see these rear seats or this rear door panel looks pretty much the exact same as what you would find in the front just keep in mind the windows back here are automatic down only they are not automatic up but they do go all the way down which is nice you get an aluminum door handle you get some fancy leather stitching leather padding and all of this right here is all leather wrapped the rest is all black plastic you can set a water bottle right there then this is what your rear seats look like so pretty much a carbon copy of what you would find in the front however you do not get the denali uh stitched into the seat back this is what your floor mats look like for the um canyon again these come with the black edition and then this is what your seats look like they are a 60 40 split so if you pull up on these seats get a little bit of partition storage space and then you have your jack you could set some jumper cables right there if you wanted to as well but let's release these seats and uh, let's put them right back down with the Denali you get a center fold down armrest with two cup holders that is what that looks like oh man these seats are very very comfortable these are very honestly I think these seats in the Canyon are more comfortable than what I found in like the Sierra uh, 2024 Sierra 2500 AT4. I just did a video. These are very nicely padded and these are very, very comfortable seats. I almost feel like these seats are a little bit more comfortable than what you find in the front. So very, very good seat quality and comfort back here in the second row of the Canyon Denali. You get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat. You get a seat back pocket behind the passenger seat. You get two cup holders as well as a spot you could set the phone that divides the two cup holders. You get two HVAC vents as as well as a USB-C port and a USB-A port. Here's a closer view of that. I'm five foot nine, I'm adjusted behind myself. I've got a little bit of leg room left, a little bit of knee room left, and a little bit of headroom left. Actually, I probably have like six or eight inches of headroom left over, so a ton of headroom left, but knee room and leg room uh, kind of to a minimum. You got an OPU panel over here. You get an OPU panel on that side as well. This is what your dome light looks like. Uh, but you know, we talked about the exterior, we talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the Denali. So I wanna see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, now on to the driving portion of the review where the first thing I wanted to say is that this steering wheel feels very, very nice in your hand. It's got a nice thickness to it. The nine and three grip is awesome for if you guys wanna do any so, sort of sporty driving. Um, it's just got a really, really nice nine and three grip and then the leather just feels very, very premium. I am very, very happy with the 2023 redesign on the Canyon. I mean, it is just way, way better than the 2022 and below. I mean, the interior quality is better the screens i mean were basically non-existent on the 2022 um and then just like the quilting over there is just so so nice the way that this thing rides is great the bose sound system bumps um i love the heated and the ventilated seats as standard with the denali i guess that's what you would expect at this price point the only real gripe that i have with this vehicle is it not having the power sliding rear window i think at this price point that is an absolutely mandatory option that needs to come standard especially with the denali so gm that was a massive overlook um you guys should have definitely uh thought about that as you guys were you know redesigning this but i'm not sure if you guys are able to pick it up but my eyes can at least see it the head-up display system displaying our speed at the current moment um, the brakes on this work very very well 
And with the high output 2.7 liter, this thing has a lot of get up and go. I mean, it really, it does not need any more power. And like I said to you guys a little bit earlier on in the video, when we were talking about the performance, um, this thing has just as much power, I believe, as like the 2.7 liter V6 found on like the Ford F-150. And I believe like this is the same exact uh, power plant used in like the Silverado 1500. So here's a little acceleration for you guys. I mean, I'm not really even getting on it, but take a listen to the turbo noise. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to pick it up, but just take a listen. It sounds like a, like a, almost like a baby diesel, like it's just listen. I'm not sure if the GoPro is gonna pick it up, but you can hear it here in person, the turbo spooling up. Here's one more time. I don't think the GoPro is gonna be able to pick it up, but I love hearing that turbo spool. That just kind of, at least from my perspective, that kind of adds to the driving experience. It just makes the drive a little bit more fun. Um, I mean, 430 pound-feet of torque is insane for a mid-sized uh, truck, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's got a ton of low-end torque. I mean, the capabilities towing-wise are phenomenal. <laughs> um, I couldn't find the payload capacity, but I didn't really look into it, to be honest. Um, but I would expect the payload capacity, I would expect it to be pretty capable in that aspect of things as well. Here's another little acceleration. You can feel that torque push, and then, you know, as it gets higher up in the RPM, it kind of starts to fall off a little bit, uh, but not like a lot, but you can definitely feel that it's more torque, it's more of a torquey motor than a horsepower-y motor, if that makes sense. Um, so overall, man, this thing drives very, very well. The way that it, it soaks up bumps, you'd expect, you know, with it having a factory two inch lift, it not to ride maybe the greatest, but it actually rides very, very well. And then rides like a vehicle with the Denali nameplate you would expect to ride. So it rides very, very well. It's got a really aggressive look to it. I love like the wide body-ish look to it. You can kind of see that in the uh, side view mirrors right now. It's just an overall, I think in my opinion, this is subjective, but I think it looks really, really sweet. I think they did a great job with the refresh slash redesign for the 2023 model year. Again, that's just personal opinion. But um, again, Bose sound system sounds great. It's very quiet here on the interior. I'll give you guys a couple of minutes to hear what it sounds like at about 30. Ignore that license plate back there. That little bit of a vibration you guys hear is the license plate kind of banging up against the uh, rear glass back there. But I got to have the license plate in order to drive this thing on the streets legally. So it is what it is. Um, overall, I think this thing looks really good, both on the exterior, moving on into the interior. I love like the new treatment that they, and it, like also, sorry to like, that's my ADHD right there. But comparing this to the Colorado Trail Boss I did a video with. I know the Trail Boss is based off of the work truck, which is the lowest trim level that you can get with the Colorado. But going from that to this, because those are the only 23s that I've done videos with now, um, I mean, there's this is just a lot better on the interior. The screen here for the digital gauge cluster is bigger. Same size screen for the infotainment system, but just like the finishes, the fit and finish with the trim, the leather and all that kind of stuff is obviously better here on the GMC Denali as compared to like one of the lower trim levels of the Chevy. I mean, obviously that shouldn't be even a comparison, but it is, you know, at the end of the day it is because they're basically based off of the same like chassis so uh anyways this thing rides great sound system is great uh the feel of the seats they're very comfortable but i have to say i think the second row seats are a little bit more cushy a little bit more comfortable than what you would find in the front row but these front row seats are also very very comfortable as well i just did a video with the 2024 um silver or no it was a sierra 2500 at4 and those seats were more firm than the seats that we have here in the canyon uh denali so these seats are more comfortable than you know a 2500 series truck so overall this is a really really nice vehicle honestly when i was driving this to the spot where i film i was like you know honestly i think i could drive one of these every day and i'd be very happy to have this as my daily driver because it's comfortable it's easy to drive it's a smaller vehicle so it's not like super intimidating to park in parking lots and stuff like that and zip through traffic you know you're a smaller vehicle as compared to like a bigger vehicle so it's easier to do that kind of stuff plus 
you got 430 pound feet of torque but that's it for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button like i said to you guys earlier on in the video i am now on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and i cannot get there without your guys's help so please if you took anything from this video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button that greatly benefits my channel and i would greatly appreciate it if you guys would support my channel but again that's it for today's video i will catch you guys in the next one peace